Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I've got a slightly different video for you today. If you've watched my Scotland video, you'll know that I'm rather fond of sand dunes and salty air. And so I've brought you to a beach. I've brought you to actually what I think is probably the best beach in Britain, if not the world. I am, of course, talking about Bamburgh Beach right here in Northumberland. So it's half past six and the sun has just risen behind the Farne Islands. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm totally blown away by how many people are here this morning. There's just loads of people. Like big families all set up for the day over there on the beach. Ready for a hot, well, hottish day. More people coming there. Loads of people swimming. And of course, you've got your photographers. <laughs> now, I have got my camera, as you can see, I've got everything, I've got all my gear. Slightly overkill for this walk, because it is just a beach walk. I've shot this to death, I'm not kidding you, I've been here so many times over the years. This is some ways to come uh, on a regular basis, every year in fact, it's like a, a, we used to come as a, a bit of an annual pilgrimage. And I've taken so many shots from round here, round on the, by the water there, nice reflection stuff, but also over here on this volcanic rock. It's, uh, it's quite a, quite a unique beach and these are the reasons why I think it's well it is the best beach in the world so let's go have a wander around and if you're not interested in beaches you're not interested in my super waffle edge you can at least enjoy that little fuzzy face so let's get over there and have a look around Ooh, what's that fin the lobsters so we've got photographers over there as well got another photographer here. I mean, it is a classic spot. Oh no, oh no, Finn's gonna ruin the shot. No, Finn, come here. Oh, that could have been a disaster. Somebody loves the beach. <laughs> she loves it. Uh oh, hang on a minute, why am I following her? That was a bad idea. So when the tide's out, you get to walk on all this rock. It's an amazing place. Loads of little nooks and crannies. Loads of beautiful patterns. I mean, even in the kelp, so it's all covered in this, this kelp. Again, you get some amazing patterns and colours and what have you. That's the kind of stuff that I really like. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like this sort of photography as well. You know, getting classic shots. Ooh, nothing wrong with that, but it's the detail stuff I like. Um, I am definitely going to end up on my backside today because it's... <laughs> I keep walking on the kelp, following Finn. She's leading the way. And I keep slipping on this kelp. I am definitely going to end up breaking something. But isn't it absolutely gorgeous here? It really is beautiful. So there's a little, little lighthouse there. And way over in the distance, you probably can't see it on this camera, is um, Holy Island and the castle of Lindisfarne. I'm going to get a bit closer to that little lighthouse there because there is some really interesting rock formations around that way and maybe get a bit closer to the water because, again, there's some nice rock pools and interesting stuff to look at. Ah, beautiful. What a beautiful morning. As I head over there, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's been very concerned about my Achilles. I mentioned it a lot, obviously, in the uh, Scotland video, and it scuppered my plans to go up Sullivan and various other mountains up there. But a lot of you have said some really lovely comments, and I really appreciate them. But I am very happy to report that it is actually on the mend. I filmed that back in April, so it's been quite a few months since then. I have done a few um, hill walks since then as well, up in the lakes. And yeah, touch wood, it seems to be getting a bit better. It's not totally healed, but it's going the right direction, so it's great. I'm really chuffed about that. Thanks for all your concern and thanks for all the advice and, and all those kinds of things as well. It's much appreciated. You lot are brilliant, honestly, fantastic. Right, I'm now getting to the very interesting rock. And it's also, <laughs> it's also a bit slippy. I don't know if you saw that then, but that was definitely a low point for Finn. Um, let's get up here. Hmm. It kind of feels grippy in places and not so grippy in other places, so I'm, I'm just going to take it easy. <sighs> be careful. <laughs> I'm not be like Finn and charge around. Ooh, charge around everywhere. Flipping heck. This is what I'm talking about. Love this. The black rock. 
and this vibrant green. It's like a predator's been shot. <laughs> Love it. I think I've taken a shot from around here before, you know, years ago. One of the first times I came here. And I think what I did, let's have a look. I think I lined up one of these cracks. There's like a series of cracks heading off in the direction of the castle. So the nice leading lines. But I can't remember where they were. I've actually been back since I've tried to find them, but I can't find them. But I'm, they must have been around here somewhere. Let's have a look. Sorry, I keep spinning around. I know you don't like that. Um, look at her. She's having a great time. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, it must have been here somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. It's on this little bit here somewhere anyway. And it's, uh, it was good. It turned out all right. I'll, if, if I can find it, it would have been on the screen by now. If I can't find it, then I won't have shown it on the screen. <laughs> But yeah, here we go. Here's that little white house. And there's a white stag painted on there. There is a reason for that, but I can't remember what it is. There's a story behind it, but I can't remember. So on that Scotland video, I did actually mention Bamburgh. Craft, I think I mentioned Craft as well, didn't I? And I love these beaches. That beach reminded me of the beaches here in Northumberland. So it's great to be back. It really is, it's lovely. I think what I'd like to do at some point is me and the young Finn Meister get in the van and come and do a proper road trip here and come right up the coast because this is the, just the most amazing coastline. Beautiful to look at and it's also just steeped in history as well. So it's, it's just fascinating. There's some good food around as well. Of course, <laughs> always food. Yes, here's the white stag. Nice, isn't it? So why do I think this is the best beach in the world? I mean, that is a very grand claim, isn't it? Because <laughs> let's face it, there are a lot of amazing beaches out there, like the ones I showed you in Scotland. I think there are a number of factors that make this an incredible beach. The first one being this rocky section here, this volcanic rock, all the little rock pools, the sea birds you can see around here. It's fascinating. I mean, you can spend hours just around this little bit here. The next thing is obviously the white sandy beach. I mean, it goes on for miles. It's so long, it's so white and so wide. It's amazing. But I think the thing for me that sets this beach apart from anywhere else or most places really is Bambra Castle. In 547 AD, the first timbers of a fortified wooden stockade were laid by the Anglo-Saxon king, Ida the Flamebearer. What a name. Since that year, the castle has been ransacked by Vikings, rebuilt by the Normans, destroyed again during the War of the Roses, home to several kings of England, a hospital, a school and a coast guard station, before finally being bought by the Victorian industrialist William Armstrong. The history of Bambra Castle is as long and jaw-dropping as the beach it presides over. Now, if you've watched Last Kingdom, you'll recognise Bambra Castle. It's referred to as Bebenburg in that, and the main character, Uhtred, son of Uhtred. This is his kingdom. This is the kingdom that he tries to return to. I'm going to spoil it for you if you've not watched it. But yeah, this is his place. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's flipping brilliant, honestly. It's so good. But obviously, they refer to Bambra or Bebenburg quite a lot in that. And I think because of that, and other things as well, apparently it's in Indiana Jones as well. I've not seen that yet. But because of all these different things, it's become super popular here. And I've noticed this time, it's been much, much busier than any other time that I've come here. Let's get back onto the sand. There she goes. <laughs> oh, when she was younger, she used to do that for ages. A good five or 10 minutes of doing the zoomies, bombing it around, or bum tuck run, as I call it. Because you kind of, you know, it's kind of took the bums in, don't it? I don't like nut jobs. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do now is head on to the beach, the sandy bit, have a walk along a little bit there. The plan was to bring Finn's ball and let her play with it. I flipping forgot it in the hotel room, didn't I? So we can't do that, but she might find one. If not, we'll just sling a bit of seaweed for her. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at the sandy section.
Right, I found that section I was talking about with the black volcanic rock and the leading line. Here it is here, looks a little bit closer to the castle. So you can see there's loads of little leading lines and interesting stuff. Conditions are not right today. It'd be fantastic. In fact, the day that I did it, if I can find that photograph, it'll be on the screen. If not, then it won't be. It was really moody, moody clouds and the black rock. Yeah, it worked. It really worked, but not today. Nice, wasn't it? Love it. Fascinating place, fascinating. Like I said, you could spend probably a full day around here, really. You know, if you want to have a rummage around. I mean, I, I, I love taking pictures of, of kelp. <laughs> I'm mean, going to post a picture of um, some kelp onto Instagram. And I've probably not got the name right. It's probably some other kind of seaweed. But I'm, I'm calling it kelp. The colours, the patterns, the shapes, everything. I, just, I love stuff like that. I love abstract. I think I prefer abstract to landscape by a long way, actually. kind of gets you looking at the details of things as well. So rather than just sort of having your head up all the time, looking at the bigger, wider landscape, you tend to get into smaller areas and really start looking at stuff, really seeing things that you'd maybe ordinarily you would just, you know, walk right past. Love this little beach hut. That's been there for donkey's years. In fact, I took a photograph of that back in 2006, maybe. Look at that for a view. <laughs> okay, back on the sand. And you know what? It's half seven and that sun is red hot. I'm sweating like mad. It's so hot. Yesterday, in fact, was the hottest day of the year and it was the 9th of September. So we're having a little, little bit of an Indian summer this year, which is quite nice. But yeah, flipping hot. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go a bit further around inland a bit more to get past this here because I think this is a little bit of a channel here. See, this is what I'm talking about here as well. Look, look, it's shots like that where it's reflected in the water. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Right, I got a little bit mesmerised by that reflection perfection right there. But I think, actually, what I could do is get across here. It's not a big channel at all. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking sometimes. Look, straight across. So now we're actually on the big open space, the big open beach. Look at it. Honestly, I don't know how it's coming out on this camera, but flip it, heck. It's beautiful. It's so big. Tiny, tiny little dots way out there in the distance. And of course, now the tide is out. And this is what I love about British beaches. I mean, obviously, other places have tides as well, but it seems to, it seems to be more pronounced here for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, the tide goes right out and you get these huge areas where you can just run around and go crazy and, you know, really let your hair down if you had any. So I'm afraid I haven't got your ball fin. So what you need to do now is go and steal someone else's. Please don't. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look. Hello. It's <laughs> a lot about. <laughs> So because it is such a vast beach, it doesn't feel crowded. I mean, it could be, I mean, it's probably dozens of people in here spread out, but because it is so big, it doesn't feel crowded. I'll tell you what I have seen here uh, a few years ago, probably about 10 years ago, is snow on the beach. We came here in the winter and uh, nobody, <laughs> nobody here at all. So let's walk a bit further on, get in line with the castle so we can see it a little bit better. Now, 
Now, it's not a ball, it's a rock, but if I throw it in the water, she'll go in after it. So here we go. Get yourself in there, get swimming. <laughs> or get wiped out by the wave. <laughs> oh, look at her, she's looking for it. That would have cooled her off nicely. It is so hot. It's hard to convey just how hot it is this early in the morning. I mean, you might be able to see beads of sweat here. Probably can't. <laughs> Shiny head. Oh, gorgeous. So those there are the Fan Islands. And like I said, you know, when I come here and do a proper road trip with Finn, I think we'll get on a boat and go over there and go, maybe go and see some of the birds over there and all the seals and what have you. Yeah, there's so much to do here. And that's why I think it definitely warrants a proper road trip. Looking forward to that. Probably next year now. Or maybe in the winter. Actually, yeah, maybe in the winter. That's not a bad idea. There'll be no birds over the islands, but uh, less people. I like the sound of that. So I've been walking a good 10 minutes now. And as you can see, I've hardly moved down the beach whatsoever. <laughs> it's just huge. And I'm not even in line with the castle yet. But it is approaching 8 o'clock now. And breakfast is at eight. I do not want to miss breakfast. I'm here today without coffee, so I'm surprised I've actually managed to speak as well as I have. I'm surprised I'm awake. So I think what I'm going to do is head back into Bambra, the, the village here, and get back to the hotel and have some brekkie. Oh, flipping it, she's absolutely filthy now. <laughs> and dry her off. But before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who support the channel. And for everybody who comments on all the videos, you know, the all comments mean a heck of a lot. I know I don't reply to all of them, in fact, I don't reply to many of them, but trust me when I say this, I read them all and I love them all. Well, mostly, you know, some of them are not great. Some of them, some of them are quite nasty, but the rest of them, the normal comments from you normal people, uh, I do appreciate them. So uh, yeah, keep, keep coming. And of course, as I mentioned earlier on, thanks for all your well wishes about my Achilles. But like I said, it is on the mend, which is good. So fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get in and let's get some brekkie. 